It is just about 734, and we're talking about a legacy unlike any other. Gaffney High School and the entire Cherokee County community is mourning the loss of a beloved coach who passed away on Friday. And we're told that Terrence Ratchford was the true heartbeat of the football team. He led players out before every game, and Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder, she has much more on how he's now being honored by his beloved school. Well, football will look very different for the team here. Players tell me that Boo Boo's energy is really what hyped them up before the games and pushed them forward in practice. His signature leading his players out of the tunnel, running through the smoke, charging the field. Coach Boo Boo is from Blacksburg and went to high school here. And he comes from a family of athletes. His nephew, actually a starter for the Indians, and told through his time here at Gaffney, he also earned another name. He was affectionately referred to as the get, get back coach. He kept everybody back and, you know, that line on the field, make sure everybody stayed behind it. But he was also known for giving the referees a, a earful sometimes too. <laughs> so I think everybody knew, knew Boo Boo. Every day during summer workouts, maybe it will be there during summer workouts. I know last summer he was always there for sure. <laughs> he'll be riding around on a golf cart with the trainers and stuff. Yeah, you, yeah, he was a great person. <laughs> the, dapping everybody up, watching us work out and stuff. He was everywhere. He was everywhere for sure. He never met a stranger, um, and he loved everyone. And I think actions always speak louder than words, and he treated people the way that he wanted to be treated. The 49-year-old was a cancer survivor, but ultimately died from congestive heart failure. Abubu's funeral will be here on Wednesday at the high school. They're expecting a very large crowd for that. The school also telling me that they plan to do something pretty big and memorable for him on their first game, as it will be a very sad moment for not only the players, but a lot of the fans and the community as well. They say in the coming days, they'd also like to do he something here at this school to honor his lasting legacy. In Cherokee County, Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News.